how is your you know recovery going? What, what sort of things are you kind of focusing on as you work your way back from the injury? Uh, it was pretty slow right now. I got my stitches out about a week ago, um, and we've just been taking stuff kind of slow. We have uh, like two hill lifts in my boot right now. Um, each week we take one out to kind of take pressure off the stitches that are still healing inside of my um, leg. Um, we're just doing some one-legged um, one legged stuff to strengthen my quad and my hamstring and uh, the muscles around my knee. Um, been doing, uh, still been weightlifting for upper body, um, doing stuff with my left leg. Uh, been, uh, start start picking up marbles now uh, with my toes, putting them inside a putting them inside a cup, and uh, I've been uh, doing some movement on the bike, just kind of get back into the motion. Andy, they talk to you about any kind of timetable yet? when you'll be fully ambulatory? Yeah, um, nah, uh, they said, Team G told me when it first happened, he said um, six to nine months is probably when I'll be, you know, back and, uh, you know, trying to, you know, full go. But right now, it's a pretty slow process, so. Ron, how, how tough was it to have an injury like this after you worked so hard to lose all that weight and get in better shape in the off season? Um, it's pretty tough, it took an uh, impact on me a little bit, but, couldn't really soak in it too much because, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. So, um, you know, I'm just taking, making the best of this. And uh, this gives me an opportunity to stay here over the summer, continue to get better, continue to rehab this, and uh, make this strong. So, so what, was going, what was going through your mind when you first went down? Can you kind of tell that it was getting bad? Yeah. Um, I, it's actually a funny story. I was, I, was, uh, I was actually mad at one of our managers, Mo. Um, I felt like it was a loud pop, um, and one of the, the coach said they heard it too. So, but we, our team, we we lost, um, we lost pretty bad in the drill before. So we had to run two twenty twos, and we're halfway through the first twenty two, and I felt the pop, but it kind of sounded like a ball was hit the back of my shoe, and so I'm thinking one of the managers are like sliding the balls across the court, and so I fall and I look, I look back and I'm like. I'm like, yo, why would you throw a ball while we're running the 2 and 2 right now? <laughs> and he's looking at me like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, now I'm frustrated. I'm going to have to rerun the 22 because I didn't make it. And so I'm just looking at him like, wow. Like, <laughs> and so, and then a pain came up on me like real quick. I grabbed the back of my foot. And then um, it went numb. And as soon as it went numb, and this all happened in a matter of like 20 seconds. Like, it was real quick. And after it went numb, I kind of realized that like, something's wrong. And then I told Timmy G, I heard a pop when he came to check on me, and, and it's numb. And he kind of knew what was up too, so it took me, took me off the court. And he assessed me um, in the training room. You mentioned still being able to do some, you know, upper body strength work and things like that. I guess what what kind of progress have you made, you know, doing that sort of work with? Coach Marshall, I mean, have you set any personal records or anything? Have you noticed any? Yeah, nah, right not, not right now. Still, uh, I can't really fully like do anything like you know with heavy weight just because like, for example, like a bench press. You know, it's, even though you're using your upper body, you still dig into the floor with your feet. And I'm kind of on one leg right now. But yeah, we're just doing stuff just to maintain strength right now. Not really trying to gain anything until I can get you know at least these two hill lifts out of my boot, so I can actually really like kind of walk. Like if you see how I walked in here, I kind of limp because of the uh, hill lift. So, uh, but everything's just kind of maintain the strength, maintain my physique, uh, still on my diet, tough, um, and just maintaining, uh, you know, maintaining, you know, just the, just the way I look. Have you been injured before? Have you had something that's ever nah. happened? Yeah, nah, yeah, this, the only thing I had was, uh, yeah, I, just, I just located my finger at the Rutgers game. Uh, we played at Rutgers Park for his Nations. That was it. So this is my first big injury. What's kind of the psychology of it? Have you ta has anyone talked to you about how to kind of approach it from a mental standpoint, just being out for a um, period of time? I talked to my uh, my high school coach, um, but me and him kind of we kind of kind of think alike. So I'm kind of I feel like I'm a pretty strong-minded dude. So I mean, when it happened, um, it wasn't really too much I can do. I just you know, like I said, everything happens for a reason. Um, it's all in God's hands, so I really just, you know, kind of just try to look at the good side of everything and, you know, make the best of my opportunities. You're almost a bit like having to sit on the side now, after, you know, going through all this and working hard and yeah. having to watch your team play through these games that you want to be out there all Yeah, Yeah, um, no, that's, that's probably the toughest part, just seeing, you know, 
what I can do. Um, not, it kind of hurts. Like I'm not out there with my team, so um, like the Purdue game, we go against Haas. You know, we got Jamo guarding them. So um, and then the Ohio State game, they got another big, good big. So just being out there trying to you know contribute, I feel like I feel really helpless on the sideline. So I try to do as much as I can, you know, cheering my team on. But like I said, I only go so far. I wish I was actually out there, you know, and contributing to uh, you know the wins and the losses. Besides cheering your team on the bench, what, what else do you try to do to kind of stay involved with the team? Um, I just talk to the team a lot. Right now, um, I've kind of been focusing on school, really. So, um, you know, being um, at practice physically hasn't been really an option in like the Ohio State game. Um, I wasn't there because just due to school and then uh, I'm just trying to you know, stay on top of that as much as I can right now. But um, just talking to my guys, you know, in the locker room after losses, before games, um, if, 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 even about like the Ohio State game, just talking to them before they leave, the, the shoot around before they leave, just letting them know that, you know, we should have to play hard, stick to uh, Coach Archie's uh, game plan and what he has laid out for us. And then, you know, and at the end of the day, just play hard. Jeff, what kind of player do you want to be when you're back up? Um, I just want to, I just honestly want to get back to how I was in high school. I, since I've been to college, uh, I felt like I got away from my game in high school. Um, I just want to be more aggressive on the offensive end and defensive end. Uh, I just want to play more freely. I just want to um, have, have more fun out on the court and just enjoy the game. Me and my high school coach was talking and this is probably uh, like a mental check for me to get back to leave a love in the game, always being in the gym, working on my game. Um, I felt like when I got to college, I became one-dimensional, just doing one thing. And so me and him had like a long conversation about, you know, getting back to, you know, that, that love of the game, like a kid's love, you know, being always in the gym, working on my game, not being one-dimensional, showing people that I can do more than one thing. But besides, you know, post up, you know, I can, you know, run the floor, play defense. And he told me that he's going to come up here and do something bad to me if I don't show people I can shoot the ball. So <laughs> I got to, you know, just continue to work on my game and bring the love back to the game, so. All right, well, go ahead. So just kind of piggyback off that. How, now that you've had kind of some time to step back and evaluate the season up to the point where it ended for you, how would you kind of assess, you know, the first uh, two months of your play yeah. this year? Um, I felt like I started off strong. Um, and then probably a month in, just before I got hurt, you know, I was kind of in a little slump. My minutes started to drop. Um, so, I mean, overall, if I had to grade it, it probably my season was probably a, a D season coming off of last year, which was like an F season. So not that too much, you know, too much improvement besides my conditioning. But like I said, I'm going to continue to work, uh, continue to get this healthy, continue to build my conditioning, and continue to build my body so next year I can come back stronger and uh, faster. All right, thanks. Oh. <clears throat> you mentioned Coach Fisher, and, you know, you guys obviously have a great relationship because back a long time. How big of a factor is he? Um, he, he's, a, he's a real big factor, but it's not just Coach Fisher, uh, Coach Art, Coach George, Coach Greg, um, all them guys, they've all been reaching out to me. Um, they all play a big part in my, uh, you know, my inner circle um, with my family. I've been knowing them dudes for a while, so, but um, Coach Danny, I think, you know, me and my special relationship, just because I, he coached me in uh, high school and before that AAU, so I've been knowing him for a while. Um, but like I said before, you know, he just wants me to, you know, get back to that, you know, love of the game. He feels that, he feels like even though I did lose a lot of weight, uh, I still don't work as hard as I could, uh, I could, you know, outside the court. You know what I mean? Like on my own, um, doing extra stuff. So, I mean, and for him to say that and him not even be here, kind of, you know, it's like a reality check. Like, okay, it, he sees it on the court, you know what I mean? Just because he knows me. so. I feel like if I can get back to, you know, like I said, the love of the game and how hard I work outside the court, um, not just, oh, in the off season when nothing's going on, just like, oh, after games, what am I doing before and after games? So to get back to that, um, I, feel, I feel like I have a better season next year. All right, thanks.